Oh my gosh. Wow. I did not know you could do this. I'm cheating the system right now. This is hilarious. Wow. This <laughs> I did not know I could even do this. It's tough. I'm sorry, bro. I had to cheat you out, man. You can't even touch me. Now I should just knock him out. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be completely real. <laughs> I'm loading the game. I press the wrong thing. What's going on, you guys, man? Welcome back, bro. Welcome back, bro. And man, last episode was pretty crazy, bro. <laughs> Ulrich was here throwing us in the ditch, bro. Just running straight into their camp, bro, without any warning, no nothing, bro. But we was able to accomplish that. We was able to, you know, do. We was able to find the people inside the mine and now we're gonna just go back to sir radzik and go speak to him you know um i'm not sure how long this episode is gonna be yet but we're just gonna dive right in and we're gonna see if we could dwell a little bit oh yeah i do gotta speak to these guys okay so before we speak to sir radzik let's go check out these guys are doing and they owe me a little money too so you feel me <laughs> but hey man thank you guys for tuning back in bro thank y'all for the love and support and as you already know elden ring DLC is coming out from the damn recording this in two days, bro. In two days, so we're gonna see how everything is gonna go. Okay, you see, Oscar, blah blah. We are avoiding outstanding. I'm not trying to deal with none of that, these traps. But it's like I was saying, bro, Elden Ring DLC is coming out, and I am excited to bring that content out for y'all. We don't know how crazy this DLC is gonna be, but Elden Ring is such an amazing fascinating game and i think we're gonna have fun uploading and obviously playing you know dropping the videos of the dlc for y'all so i am definitely excited for that That's forbidden here. oh i apologize oh and put that away <laughs> it's like i put one away the other one comes on okay there we go so let's see how these two how my two partners doing I'm a fool going in the wrong place. I was looking at the wrong, the wrong A. At least the game saves, so I don't have to worry about nothing. How you doing, Fritz? Hey, how'd you get so fucked up? Oh, I gotta clean myself. How do you like it at the mill, Fritz? It's gotta be better than the mines. It's worse here than the scallops. There you could disappear. 5,000 comments. But, hey. but why would you want to disappear? Nimoy isn't here. <laughs> no, he's not. But the local foreman is an even bigger ass. <laughs> I'm not sure that's possible. You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything and drown him in the river. Wow. Drown him? What's he done to you? It was the uh, first or the second day in. But we had a disagreement and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. Wow. How did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. Yeah, I can't swim either, yeah. And he learned to. So you want to pay him back? Exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here, but that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. I spoke with him briefly, and he doesn't seem so horrible. Then you ought to try working with him. He's a sneaky bastard. And arrogant. You should see how he puffs himself up when he's off to play dice with Lawrence. Who's Lawrence? Another mill hand? Aye, but the neighboring mill. They call him the Red. Damned if I know why. Thomas goes there to play dice with him. What about the others at the mill? Are they awful as well? The miller's an old fool. He believes every word that comes out of Thomas's mouth. It's hopeless. And then there's the miller's daughter. She's a pretty lass. And kind with him. But what can she do? Nothing. Not that it stops Matthew going to see her. But Thomas is the root of the problem. Do you think he's jealous? Is she a sweetheart? He might make puppy dog eyes at her. But most of the time he just struts about like a peacock. 
I really don't think she's the problem. And what do you want to do about it? You think you can come to an agreement? No fucking chance. Matthew hmm. hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines, but the place worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas a proper trouncing. Wow. I mean a real thrashing. And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. That's your business, fam. Might I'm not joining in this time. And you arrange a fight with him. If we win, you leave us alone. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Hmm. I'll think about it. Take care. I'm definitely not about to do that, bro. Trying to set them boys up, man. Come on, bro. We're not about that lifestyle no more, bro. Let me talk to Matthew. Jesus, what have you been up to? Heard you don't have it easy here. So you spoke to Fritz then? I bet that wasn't quite how he put it. <laughs> no, not quite. Apart from Thomas's name, the rest was mostly swear words. I can imagine. I've been hearing the same from him all week. The foreman here is a pain in the ass. He's trying either to wear us to the bone or force us to leave. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. Hmm. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouth bastard more than us. He's got us down for a pair of parasites. I see. What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. And you definitely don't... You don't ever provoke him? I've already told you once, he's an asshole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking? What do you think? But that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits, and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going, and he starts yelling too, and... Hmm. I might have to help them out. I'd never have guessed he's like that. Well, get a job here as a hand, and you'll soon see. And what does he do during the day? Does he work with you? <laughs> Good one. He keeps his eye on everything, but his hand only touches the saw when the miller shows up, which isn't that surprising. Why? The last time he did anything, he almost took his thumb off with a chisel. I wouldn't put an axe in there. So it's useless. Either. So he's clumsy and arrogant. That's what you said about your last master, that Nimoy. Aye, but at least you could sneak away from old Nimoy for a bit. No chance of that around here. And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Isn't they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You don't get anywhere with him there. I'll keep that in mind. So I got a sweet talk to man. Good luck then. Well, they, these man got me solving their little problem, bro. I ain't coming for this. I came here to pick up my money that they owe me, dog. <laughs> Mm 
I'm guessing it's them. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Oh, well, my reputation is dope, then. So what do you think Let me try to smooth it out. If I hadn't put in a good word for them, the miller would have thrown them out by now. I heard them say something else. So they're complaining, are they? <laughs> I provide for them, and all they do is slack off. Isn't it the miller who provides for them? He can't manage the work anymore. If it weren't for me, there'd be nothing left standing around here. But you need the help anyway. And they're pretty handy. Maybe. But they're in no danger of overworking themselves. They act like they're too good for them. And I saw them eyeing up Jane. Nothing strange about that. She's a pretty girl. And she's of an age to marry. It's not marriage they've got on their minds. They have their way with her. Then for her belly starts to grow, they have to run for the hills. <laughs> we can reach an agreement. You need the mill fixed, they need the money. If they have peace to do their work, they'll be able to finish it faster. But... And then they'll take their caution and leave. The mines will open them, and the faster they get their money, the quicker they'll be gone. But do you really think I can trust them to do it? Will they do their work and leave? And leave Jane alone in the meantime? I hope so. Of course. They're not interested in the mill. They just need the coin to pay their debts. Once they've got enough, they'll have no reason to stay here. I never thought we could sort it out this way. I've known them for a long time, and you can rely on them when it comes to this. Everybody will be better off. All right. If they keep their part of the bargain, I'll even give them a few extra brushes. But woe be tied them if they don't. You can tell them that. Take care now. All right. I didn't want to set him up, y'all. I feel like I was kind of green. And I don't know. I didn't want to get into all of that. You feel me? We're honest men here. Jesus, what have you been up to? Yeah, I got to clean myself. It took some doing, but I made a deal with him. I'm glad to hear it. So we can stay here? He'll leave us be? He'll leave you alone, but there are conditions. Once you finish your job, you'll vanish from here. But you'll get an extra groschen or two for your troubles. And that's it? I thought... Oh, never mind. Oh, and you're to stop dallying with the miller's daughter. Keep on mucking about with her and you'll muck things up for yourselves. The fucking bastard. He can go fuck himself. He'd better give us enough groschen to make it worth it. But I suppose I should thank you. You may have bought us some peace and quiet. That's better than nothing. Yeah. Here's something for your help. Mm, that boy gave me some grass and This is what I came here for, man. All right, let's definitely get out of here. I've. <laughs> yeah, we did that quest. I was not expecting the quest to go that way. But you know. Now we're going to go back to Sir Rajik or whatever his name is. I, I think it's Rajik, yeah. I'd be fast traveling. I'm not going to lie. I did see when you guys comment down that when you fast travel, you don't get, you, it doesn't explore the land for real. Which I do understand. But sometimes I don't feel like running <laughs> everywhere. But... I definitely should start, you know, just so I can unlock more of the land layout and stuff like that. We'll sleep to the morning. Hmm, there he is. I feel like something's about to go down. Let me speak with him. There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. Dang, I should have washed myself. Well earned rest, but unfortunately, I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Yezek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard asking to see you. Me. Who's Yezak? Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of As a captive, huh? Myself, if he's so keen to speak to you, I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. 
Don't tell me I gotta go looking for for a burner. Sir, I've been to Ujets, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. All right. So now I must go speak with Bernard. I do have some upgrades. I need to upgrade. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, so Radzik let him have his way in the end. Let me beat some answers out of him. Hmm. <laughs> Don't take it that way. He probably wants to talk to me because he reckons he can cook with me. But that's where he's wrong. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. Thanks. Nah, I've been trying to make smart decisions lately in this game, man. We got the key. Let's get going now. Bro, I am lost. I had a feeling, bro. This thing was underground. Got me wandering God around. Saved you, Henry. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor, you're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. You're it's right. Crossed my mind though that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. I suppose there's some truth in that. I may speak with Sir Radzik and he might pardon you, but not unless you start talking. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right, the way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. It's always Someone a foreigner. I placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it too. But I don't know who. Oh, in a monastery? How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago, and they said they were heading for Sassau, that armed men were being recruited, and they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. <laughs> I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month. So I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sassau Understandable. and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times. Not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. This Eric, 
You reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this, Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. Crimps. You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gun? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sasau. It's about who you know, as always. I love how this man is writing out everything. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. If you say so. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Mm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzik? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. Hmm. I can try. I'll try. I you anything. He seems like a cool guy, I'm not gonna lie. He definitely seems pretty cool. So let's go ahead and tell... Let's go ahead and tell Radzik. Let me talk to you, buddy. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yesha claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? What's going to happen now? To the to investigate. No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. Do. I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this? You can't beat Eric? him, join him. Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. I like how that sounds, Sasso. So Yezhak <laughs> didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I'm, I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the rod house. Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. Mm. I'll try to blend in. Nice. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I know of no one else who can help as much as you can. Sir, there's one more thing. Sir Yezhek went with me without resistance, because I promised him he could come to an agreement with you. 
My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name. That could turn out very badly for both of us. But oh. if it can prevent bloodshed, why the hell not? We may well come to some arrangement after all, but I can't say yet what will become of him. You'd better run along. As you command, sir. All right, this is interesting. It seems like we're gonna have to join some type of gang. All right. Well, I guess it's time for us to get going then, y'all. All right, as y'all can see, we're here now. We're gonna ask this bailiff about the, is this him? This is scribe. Okay, there's him right here. Good God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? I could have sworn I washed off, bro. <laughs> I've got a few questions for you, Bailey, if you don't mind. Have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? Who sent you here? No one complained. So I'd be interested to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzig who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavory characters are holed up around here. Begging your pardon, but what the devil does Sir Radzig care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian, and he's got no dog in this fight either. You have an inn, and the horse trails cross here. There must be many travelers come seeking work, and not all of them honest men. Aye, it's true. Bedlam has broken out once or twice, and restoring order was no easy matter. Has there been anything like that lately? No. It's been quiet here lately. Now that I think about it, I don't recall coming across anyone here like that. Nobody looking for soldiering work, maybe as a merchant's guard? There's always one or two like that. But if they don't get the job, they move on. Sir Sebastian? Who's that? Sebastian Baron von Berg. He's here <laughs> under monastery law to protect us against all this unrest in the land. Why should he care about the city? That's not his jurisdiction, is it? Quite true. I'm in charge of this city, but he keeps telling me I've got cutthroats hiding around here, and I should be more vigilant. The goal of the man. I think some recruiters are meeting in Sassar. Seems likely they get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? Nothing of the sort. Old Lederman's the only one that comes complaining, but I pay no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner, lives by the quarry, which is where, well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go there to fight and that doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry they can't damage anything but each other. And my catchpoles go by there from time to time to keep an eye on things. Okay. Have you heard any talk of strangers in the town and maybe people acting oddly? Nothing worth mentioning. Sure, there's been some talk about the miller. Folks saying they've been seeing him doing this or that, or people visiting him at night. But he's never done anything. He's a decent enough man for a miller. I'll try asking him if he's heard anything. He lives on the other side of the river, by the bogs. But don't go getting your hopes up. Might not be able to help. Thank you, Bailey. Interesting. Goodbye. So, did I even have to talk to anybody else? It seems like I don't even have to talk to anybody else. Cause. Yeah. Seems like I already got who I need to talk to. I thought I was gonna go go have to. I thought I was gonna have to go and talk to everybody. Okay, dope. That makes my life easier then. Okay, so first thing first, let's talk to Tanner and see what he says. Going the wrong way. Okay, so Tanner is over here, and the other guys. Okay, but do I need my horse? No, I don't. I need to find a pot to eat from too. There's a bath lady. 
No, it's not. Because for some reason, everybody's saying, oh, like, why do you look like that? My, my armor must be dirty, bro. <laughs> you feel me? I think this is him. Yeah. God be with you. Hunter, I've heard all's not well with you. It's better now. I must have eaten something bad. No, I mean you've complained about some ruffians raising hell behind your house. Aye, true enough. That lot's been a thorn in my side. And when I went to tell them to take it elsewhere, they nearly beat me to a pulp. Hmm. Nice. When are they there? Nearly every evening. Every godforsaken evening. Shouting and bellowing there till nightfall. And then they leave. Probably to get drunk. Seems like we're gonna have to beat a few kids. Oh, uh, let's not say that. It seems like we're gonna have to put some sense into some men here. How many of them are there? How would I know? They make as much noise as a herd of wild boar in rushing season. Did they all attack me? I they knocked the stuffing right out of me. Ah oh, man. And nobody does a thing about it. I beat to the bailiff, but he couldn't give a rat's arse. There's no commotion under his window, so what does he do? There's quite a bailiff you've got. A scarecrow would keep better order. If you want, I'll take care of him. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but there are several... That's God's job, man. Perhaps you'll be able to settle things peacefully. You may be. They might think twice before kicking your arse. Perhaps I can reason with him. He doesn't have to come to blows. Well, break a leg, lad. Or better yet, don't. But if you manage to pull it off, you'll get your reward. Don't worry. Hmm. They meet in the evening, right. So I guess I'll take care of them. Then I'll go talk to Miller Simon about the crypts or whatever. So what time is it now? Okay, let's wait a little bit. Let me see if I can talk to them. But realistically, bruh, I'm probably going to have to whip out my sword and murk them boys. Because I'm not about to be a fist fight against, I don't know how many. It might be a whole army of them. There's no way I'm about to allow a fist fight to happen here. I'm sure it's already, the time's already good, to be honest. Let's go ahead and cancel that, bro. Or do I got to wait till later? No, that's them right here. I think it's them. Let's definitely them. Let's definitely them. What can I do for you? What happened with the tunnel? Nothing out of the ordinary. He came to test his metal like everyone, but he couldn't even get past young Weed. Then he started whining about getting his money back because we tricked him, so we threw him out. He came back a few times after that complaining about all the shouting, ordered us to bugger off elsewhere. But you didn't? No. And when he got really annoying, he got a punch in the mouth. He hasn't been back since. Doesn't dare to. Didn't shut that big mouth of his. I heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? Willing to do anything? Meaning what? Something filthy like helping the knacker? I wouldn't know. Go and ask someone else. That's not what I meant, but alright. I don't like his attitude, man. Goodbye. Could do with a bite to eat. In such fine armor, is there a joust happening? <laughs> Why did you thrash the tanner? Because he came by one day, lost his money, 
And that started on about how we cheated him and ought to give him back his coin. He was a right pest. He told me that you jumped him when he asked you to stop making a racket behind his house. Well, that's sort of true. But he didn't start complaining until he lost his money. Before that, it didn't bother him. I heard someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? Maybe. I work in the quarry, and they're always looking for extra hands to replace them that's got something broken. That's not what I meant, but thanks. Goodbye. So what, do I gotta talk to all of them? God save you, good night. What can I do for you? Man, these boys respect me, dog. I love it. <laughs> I heard you gave him quite a beating. It's his own damn fault. Really? He just came to tell you to go elsewhere. That's what he told you. Bollocks! He came of his own accord. It was him started the fuss. After he'd lost all his money. He really tried to have a go. I wouldn't think he'd have it in him. He tried, but he didn't have much luck. He doesn't pack a punch. But landing it in the right place. Ha! I'm not surprised he's got no children. I heard that someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? No. But I'm always the last to hear of anything like that. I'll ask Punch. He'd know. See you later. I think I talked to... God save you, good night. What can I do for you? What went on with the tanner? When things got lively, I wasn't here. The others were, though. Go ask them. I've heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? If I knew you better, I might tell you. But as things stand... Hmm, makes sense. So who else do I ask? Oh, Punch. There we go. The Tanner sent me. He says you've been causing a commotion at night, and I thought I might convince you to stop. Ha! <laughs> so all his whining finally found a friendly ear, did it? Let me tell you something first, Well, I'm the bailiff's man, and we're not doing anything wrong here. Old Letterman's only been whining like that since he lost a bit of silver. Didn't bother him before that. He told me different. Ha! <laughs> of course he did. Otherwise, no one would help him. Go ahead and ask the lads. They'll tell you the same. God's honest truth. I'll tell you what you word. But what should I do now? The way I see it, you've got two choices. Screw that old liar and leave him be or get down to business. What do you mean get down to business? Yeah, well, what do you mean? You may think you're pretty tough. And if you give us all a thrashing, we might think it over. But then again, we're no strangers to a hard fight. If I break your arm, then you won't be coming here for a while, will you? But I'm a fair fellow, so I'll make you an offer. If you enter our tournament and win, which means beating us all, then we'll go elsewhere. If you don't win, then you're flat out of luck and have to leave. That's not so bad, is it? Hmm. I might have to enter this tournament, yeah. I'm looking for work, and I've heard someone around here wants fearless men. Do you know anything about it? Hmm. I've heard they might be looking for a new knacker. So if you're not afraid of carcasses and the occasional pile of shite. Thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, right. Word has it someone's hiring mercenaries and other fighters. Ah, well, you've heard more than I. I want to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. No. Pay close attention. Yeah, gee. Oh yeah, I do have a whole load of upgrades. I just remembered. I gotta upgrade my guy. If I wanted to join in, what would I have to do? It's pretty simple. First you have to beat Wee. He's that not too dangerous looking fella there. 
But some nights, he gets a good rest and he's got God on his side. Then you can try with <laughs> those three. Doesn't matter which. And if you whip all three, you can test your metal against me. Fair enough. Man, so what? I gotta fight five guys, bro? That's right. They say about with me is no joke. Just bad humors. <laughs> Alright. I want to fight you. What did I tell you? First beat we and those three clowns. And then I'll have time. Got it? Hold on, let me see if I can get some more training off him before I go fight them other boys. At least the game saved, though. I want to get better at... Certainly. I'm interested in more... All right, but it'll cost... No. Pig. Okay, I'm probably going to fist fight them boys, to be honest. I want to get better at... Certainly. I want to achieve mastery. You... I'd like to hone my... First you have to have some... <laughs> well, I'll... Take care. Okay, let me upgrade real quick. Main level, okay. Hmm, first aid three, that's interesting. Oh, nice. This is what I need. As long as you remain still, your tightness and hunger will stay at the same level. Perfect. So you did say try going against weed, I guess. Let's do it. Let's go. Take care. I guess we're doing a little tournament. Weed, let's knock you out. I'm over here. God damn. I wonder if I if I inflict damage, are they gonna allow me to get my health back? Then I've been watching weed get whooped. What a hilarious name. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Bro, I docked weed out. I didn't sit on anyone. How many fucking times do I have to tell you? You this man was pretty cocky, so I think I gotta tap him. I think I gotta whoop him too, bro. He had a little attitude. But now we'll take it up a notch. Take care. Why did I just hear take care? He had a little attitude. We'll go ahead and knock this one out. Mmm. Come on, talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. You were talking a whole lot of smack. What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> Why am I still trying to attack him? Let me chill. Okay, who's next? Damn, you look real innocent, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you look real sweet. Let's see how you do with me. I know the real challenge probably going to be the last guy. Oh my gosh. Wow. I did not know you could do this. I'm cheating the system right now. This is hilarious. Wow. This <laughs> I did not know I could even do this. It's tough. I'm sorry, bro. I had to cheat you out, man. You can't even touch me. All right, buddy. Come here, Lanky. Let's fall. This is actually pretty dope, though. You look pretty good. But I'm bad if you just look. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm playing Kingdom Come, and I'm thinking about Dragon Age, bro. I was supposed to finish that game, dog. 
I was supposed to finish the game, y'all, but every time I, like, I remember I was so close to finishing, and then I got a new PS4. Then it's like, I, I don't know if I forgot to transfer, but I just lost my data while we're cheating the system. But then I started replaying again on my new PS4. But y'all know how that went. I think, I don't even know. I got to download it on the PS4 to see if I still got my data, bro. Because right now, bro, I'm thinking about some Dragon Age right now. Dragon Age is so dope. Play when I'm not recording for y'all. There's some games, obviously, we play when we're not recording. Like, Days Gone, I play. I play Far Cry 5 when I'm not recording for y'all sometimes. But at the same time, I'm just yapping right now. But I'm speaking some truth, though, you know? <laughs> Let me see if I can cheat him out too. Hmm. I don't think I can cheat him out. I actually can. Hold on, let me try it out. Let's not get knocked out by this man. He's definitely better than them boys. Bro, get out of my face, dog. <laughs> okay, I think I can cheat him out now. It's hilarious, y'all. You just gotta keep on spamming, um, R1. <laughs> but moving forward, obviously. Oh my gosh, it's not even fair. I think we're just gonna finish him. Oh, I was about to knock him out. Damn, I'm sorry. That was a little cheat. Well, I won. Hmm. So what? What now? Are we gonna talk or are you gonna... I think I gotta wait for him. See you later. I think I gotta wait for him to get back up, bro. Come on, bro. I'm hearing wolves, but I don't think I ever seen wolves in this game. I just thought about it. Huh. Dang, my hun my Henry's pretty hungry. Do I have food? I do. Okay, that's better. I probably got to let the time pass because this man is just. Wow. He is knocked out. Didn't sit on How many fucking times do I have to tell you? You're an ass. You better hope I don't say you. That was pretty good. I didn't think you had it in you. You were really good. I've got to hand it to you. Most lads don't make it past me. So listen. I want to tell you something. What's that? There are people here looking for really tough men. Hmm. I'd say you fit the bill. So when you walk through town this evening, if there's a light in the church, go in and wait a while. If they like the looks of you, they might give you some work. <laughs> Interesting. Ah. So I think I already did the jet there. I don't think I gotta talk to that person in the woods. Look here, lads. I hope I won't be seeing you around here again. Go and find some other place for your games. All right, all right. We'll go. But if you want to fight again, you're always welcome. I bet you'll come off worse next time. Nice. Take care. That was pretty dope. I like that. So, well, we see where the crimps, or whatever their name is. Yeah, so I don't think, do I still gotta go over there? I don't. Wow. The way the mid these missions work. What's this quest? Oh. I'm like, when did I have a quest in Red Tie? Okay, so let me go tell Tanner if that man is even up. Man's probably sleeping for all I know. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's definitely sleeping, so we're just gonna have to wait it out. Is there a place I could just sleep here? as a 10 I just came out what's going on there thank God thank you for coming out make my life easier I've taken care of the lads who were bothering you you'll have a quiet evening tonight God bless you, lad. And here's something for your trouble and kindness. Unlike that miserable bailiff. If anything else grieves you, just say the word. God be with you. Hey, man. Hey. We do it for the coin, huh? I'm trying to see if I could talk to this man. Okay, so now. Let's go to the church. I feel like this about to be real interesting, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. He did save there's a light. But right now it's my time, like. I think I might have to wait. There is a light. Hmm. Will be done. Ah. You've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? Dope. I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? Thing is, if I say punch, I'm a rat, right? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. But he still said more than he should have. This is why. You won't go wrong with me. This is why I say his name. I've got a test ready for you. Yeah. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah. Not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Who's Pius? Who's Pius? And why should I kill it? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, he can join us. I'll have to find him first. Nice, well. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys. It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Well, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. Ah. Huh. The 
how am I supposed to get into the cloister? You'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. Dang, bro, I don't even know what to do. Murder someone in a monastery? Have you gone mad? <laughs> Murder's as sin as it is. Doesn't really matter where you do it. Yes, it does. I'd be spilling blood on hallowed ground. <laughs> well then, knock him senseless, drag him outside, and finish him off where it's less sacred. I don't give a damn where you do it, just as long as he ends up dead. Wow. How would I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well dressed and had a fine looking dog. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk in a monastery. <laughs> Where better? <laughs> There's more wine there than in the royal cellars, and I doubt he suddenly stopped drinking. I could ask if he has any other tests, but let me see. Do you have any other tests? We're not hiring stable boys. We want men who are prepared to do anything, and this is the toughest task we've got. So, how many men have you already sent? And just a handful. And what happened to them? Did they hang? Ah, just the first one. <laughs> the others turned tail. Guess they didn't have the stomach for it. I might have to do this for the mission, though. That's tough. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. What else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light the fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm going to wow. help I can go. <laughs> and remember... We'll be keeping tabs, so don't you try to run off, all right? God be with you. This is crazy, dog. So what if I had said no? Because I know this game has different routes, bro, so it's like... Man. Go ahead and pick up this key. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, um, I'm gonna tell Sir Radzik what they're trying to make me do first because I'm definitely not trying to commit no murder. I mean, we've done it a couple of times in this game already, 
But this just seems senseless, bro. You feel me? I'm gonna see what Sir Radic tells me. I wonder what happens if I try to fast travel. I'm gonna try it. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not posted with fast travel because it unlocks more of the land for real. But it's like when I'm trying to record for y'all, bro. I can't really waste time not fast traveling. You feel me? Let me see what happens if I fast travel at all. I feel like I might get ambushed for some reason. Hopefully not though. We'll see. They did say they'll be keeping tabs, but we'll see. You guys are probably like some assassins or something, bro. Yeah, we're gonna avoid that. Right now we're on a mission. If I was on a mission, I would have scouted. If it wasn't so dark, I would have scouted it. So Red Dick's probably gonna tell me to do it, bro. Maybe I could avoid the bloodshed if I lure Sir Radzik. No. It seems like I could possibly... Oh, there you are. It seems like I could possibly find out what happens in skies if I question enough people. Hmm. Greetings. What business have you? So, this investigation into the Neuhof massacre. It's getting a bit complicated. What have you found out? I tracked down a gang of robbers who recruited killers for Privis Lovitz. They know the Horsons who torched Neuhoff. That's excellent news. Did you find out any more? So far, not much. If I'm going to infiltrate them, I have to do what they say. That means murdering one of their former cronies, a fellow they call Pius. Apparently he was at Neuhoff too. You have to kill a criminal to prove yourself to them? Huh. I don't much like the sound of it. That's not the worst of it. This pious is hiding out in the monastery, pretending to be a novice. I'd have to get into. So he's a criminal. Hmm. <laughs> Good God above! That's another matter entirely. They don't let just anyone into the cloisters, and the abbot won't give up any of the novices. Secular law has no jurisdiction inside the monastery. But this is the second time that something untoward has happened there. First the counterfeiters, now this. I'd be glad to have someone take a look inside. Okay. What should I do with Pius once I find him? Don't kill him. Bring him to the bailiff in Rate. He'll interrogate the man and give him a fair trial. Okay. It doesn't sound like an easy task, sir. Getting into the cloisters, finding Pius, and then getting him to the bailiff. Far from it, lad. But I have confidence in your abilities. So we're going to try it that way. The way to find Pius is to join the order. Damned if I know how, though. A bit of meditation and learning would do you good. If it's really the only way to get to him, then you'll have to do it. I'm sorry I can't be of much help. Sadly, my relations with the monastery aren't entirely congenial. You'll have to figure something out for yourself. Good luck, man. It's funny how I thought in the beginning that this man was, like, on with the army that attacked um, Scalitz. I thought he was like teaming up with him and some, but um, yeah, enough of that yapping. Um, <laughs> let's let's go ahead and do that. We know how that goes already. I need to get a new horse, bro. I see this every episode. Pebbles, yeah. bear with me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God, we didn't get jump scared. Yeah. Duh. Dang, it's so realistic. Yeah, <laughs> you can't even complain. What am I even supposed to look for? I forgot. Good night. What? Are you cold by any chance? Oh, yeah. Why do you ask? 
I've heard that you're bound for the monastery. Yes. Yes, it's nice. Right. But I've convinced my faithful guardian, Manfred, to give me a few more days of freedom. Mind you, he won't let me visit the brothel. So instead, I'm devoting those days to the demon drink. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Henry. Pleased to meet you, Henry. I'm out of drink with him. Let's have a drink. They, they told me to get him drunk. The drink's on me. And will my guardian angel here join us in imbibing? No, he will not. Perish the thought. My dear, dear lad, what a cross I have to bear. You know, after the tavern, we should pay a visit to some whores. No, you could do that. <laughs> Fred won't let me. Get rid of him. Are you kidding me? This is about to be another priest situation, y'all. <laughs> this is about to be hilarious, bro. We're about to see right now. All right, so let's get rid of this guardian right here. God save you, good night. What can I do for you? What up? I forgot how this game works, man. I actually got to go in front of them so I can get a good angle, bro. Hold on, let me end this angle. Okay, this is ridiculous. I can't be talking to somebody like at the back of their heads, bro. You're Manfred, the young lord's guardian. Indeed I am. Why? I might have to knock him out. He's a guardian. He is not... That's not going to work. I'm looking at the points and... My, my reputation is pretty high, though. I might just have to knock him out. But then again, if I do that... I don't know what to do here, y'all. I gotta... This is strategic... You feel me? Strategic movements right now. <laughs> would you let us have a word in private for a moment? I would not. I, pr I, pr I, put my I clicked the wrong thing, second, bro. He'll be gone. I have to keep my eye on him. I've been looking for you two for quite some time. I've been sent by the young lord's father with a message intended only for him. So, I'm just to take you at your word, am I? But where's your seal? You haven't got one. And if you were a messenger, you wouldn't be idling about in this tavern. I obviously knew that was gonna... Get out of my sight, you fraud. I knew that, I knew, I knew that was gonna happen, bro. You must have a mighty thirst. Waiting here with him for days, just watching him get drunk. And not having a sip yourself. There's no doubt I'd enjoy a drink. Heaven knows I deserve it. But if I dull my senses in the slightest, that rogue will surely get up to mischief. So let's drink together. And if you start to feel unwell, I'll keep an eye on him. Like you said, you deserve some fun. I ain't gonna lie. I can see you're a reliable lad. So what shall we have to drink? I was about to knock him out. <laughs> Why not have a little game? Take care. I was honestly about to knock him out, y'all. But I don't mind playing dice though. Last time we played this, we whooped that girl up. It was pretty fun. We gotta get a 3,000, okay. Dang, I think I'm buzzed. No matter. It wouldn't have helped much anyway. This will be the one. Oh no! Nice. That's what happens when you get a great day. Let me try to score and roll again. Are you kidding me, bro? But it's not playing with me, dog. <laughs> Cut me some slack. I think I just got a score and pass, bro. Holy hat. It's like they made this one a little harder. There's cautious. And then there's chicken. 
Yeah, I definitely chicken. That was definitely a chicken. That's it. I think I'm just about to quit this dice game to be honest. It's up to 3,000 and we keep getting all these buses, bro. I'm not about to spend 10 minutes playing this. <laughs> I can't be playing a game while well, playing a game. And y'all watching me play a game, play a game. <laughs> you feel me? I'm gonna see if I can hit a roll. If I can hit a roll and get to. If I could get to 500, I'll keep on playing. I did say 500. Okay, let's see. We'll see. Oh no. Dang. I ain't gonna ask a score and pass, bro. That's a score and pass. I don't know. I just want to beat him, bro. I don't know. I just, I just want to beat him. Oh my gosh. When did he get that much? Good neighbors. Dang. I think I actually got to beat him. You must have a mighty thirst. So let's Dang, I actually got to beat him. That's tough. Bring it up. All right, y'all. I'm going to beat him off camera cuz there's no way. As y'all can see this man's completely destroying me, but right now we're about to hit a roll. So I'm just going to play safe and score and pass while we're at 1000. But this man <laughs> He's going crazy. But I have no doubt in my mind that I could definitely catch up and beat him. Unless I get wrecked by a move like this. Come on, bus, bus, bus. Okay, that sounds weird, but, you know. Oh, I got destroyed. Oh, my gosh. Damn, I thought I got to beat him. I've had enough. Never mind. you wouldn't drink today. Silence. I'm going to sleep. Here's a few coins. Have fun. Tomorrow, we're going to the monastery. Is that clear? Couldn't you give me more? This isn't even enough for a toothless whore. It's enough here. Good start. Nice. Main pickpocket him. I'm trolling. Well, car is me and you, buddy. Manfred's taken care of, just as you wanted. Thank God. He won't let me out of his sight for a second, and he's itching to get I'll me in the monastery right so he can head back home. Here we are. Why are you being sent to the monastery? Like yeah, every I... lusty young lad, I'm fond of fair maidens, but I got too fond of one, and let's just say she was um, indisposed for nine months. But they don't send you to the monastery oh. for that. They do, when it's the daughter of the lord of your feet. Shit. <laughs> Shit is putting it mildly. 
The Lord of Book of her was less than pleased. He knows he'll never marry off his daughter now, so he gave father a choice. Either pay him 1,000 groschen in compensation, along with my balls on a silver platter, or pay 1,000 groschen and put me away somewhere no one will ever see me again. Wow. Why does your guardian never leave your side? So I don't run away. Of course, I'm free to walk around, but he watches every step I take and won't stop until I'm behind the monastery walls. Well, he's not watching me now. What good is that to me when he has all the money and even my saddle and riding cloak under lock and key? What if I entered the monastery instead of you? What? Voluntarily? You don't look like someone who'd want to spend the rest of his days on his knees praying. Well, that's your problem. You could only enter the monastery if you know how to read and write, and if you have a special writ from the abbot. That's a letter confirming they know who you are and that they've accepted you. So you give me your writ? I'll just tell them on you. Manfred has the writ. You'd have to take it from him, but he only puts it down when he sleeps. So I'll steal it and then you can disappear. Disappear? Fear asked. What the hell would I do? I don't know how to work, I have no money, and that old bastard's even taken my cloak. He has me in the palm of his hand. But there are poor people everywhere, and they get by somehow. If I have to choose between hunger and poverty on one hand, and the monastic life on the other, I'm afraid the monastery wins. <laughs> if I could only steal that old man's pouch, I'd be gone faster than lightning, and no one would ever see me again. To the women! I, I'll be best in two shapes. Well, it seems like I gotta take two things. So he's. Let me see. He's sleeping. Where exactly? In the inn. But is he upstairs? It's probably upstairs, yeah. Is him. That is him. I don't, I don't know if it's on him. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm good. No, I'm not. I promise. Bro, I'm trying to tackle him. Dang, wow. This is just ridiculous. Mmm, yeah, I should have tried lockpicking this stuff. Wow. Wow. Okay, let me see. <laughs> That's tough. Let me see if I can lock pit this thing real quick. Maybe I could grab something out of it while they're distracted, right? Let me hurry up. I should have just tried lock picking this from the beginning. Now I might have to load the game. Okay, yeah, it's, it's not on him. You're some nice fancy clothes, though. Hmm. I like these clothes. They're pretty fancy. Let's go send that. Man, ain't even no point, bro. I gotta load the game, bro. Or just let a guard catch me. Because at this point, this man done ran to you feel me the ends of the earth as a guards hey, you. Oh. Sir, All right. you win. you're under arrest caught you and now you'll pay for all your crimes what let me see if I could just pay him off y'all you dare to ask even if I ignore your other crimes your brawling is reason enough for me to clap you in irons this definitely won't come cheap. 
You'll learn crime doesn't pay. Ah. All right. Here you are. You purged yourself before the law, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. You can be sure of that. I'm gonna have to back the stolen goods and show me what else you have on you. You ain't take no my fancy armor, right? What the hell? I'm gonna have to load the game. I feel like because my whole rep just went down too. What was that? What have we got here? Entertain. Hey! Well, he wants to fight, so I have no choice. I guess it's the best way for me to take take the stuff. I forgot I could just cheat these guys like this. Oh my gosh. I just gotta knock him out and take his stuff. That's tough. Even though my reputation went bad. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? He started fighting me, bro. Wow, wow, this is this is getting more difficult than I thought, child. No one gets away with beating people up around here. Not on my watch. So you just ignore the guy. This definitely won't come cheap. You'll look. I'll pay it. Here's your coin. You... My reputation definitely is terrible over here now. Let me see. This is a waste of time, bro. I'm gonna see if I can just knock him out. Please don't turn around, bro. For fuck's sake! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm loading the game, bro. Somebody help! Don't move a finger. I'm loading the game because this Surrender. is just. My reputation is getting out of here. We don't. You should have thought twice about. I won't put up with any more of this. What's your game? So yeah, we ended up doing what we had to redo because I had just had loaded the game, and I had paid for an inn. You feel me? I had paid for a room, so we slept and saved. So we do mess up in the pickpocketing. We're just gonna load the game, bro, because no. This is just ridiculous, dog. I don't know if I gotta wait to all the way to nighttime to do it, but we're gonna try it again. Okay, let me see. No, I should just knock him out. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be completely real. <laughs> I'm loading the game. <laughs> I pressed the wrong thing. I did not want to kill him, bro. Come on, dog. I'm going to try knocking him out. It's a good thing I, I saved the game because that would have been ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious, bro. We're just gonna, I'm going to try knocking him out while he's sleeping. That was the obvious choice. I'm, it's like re-zero right now. You see, now we got to pickpocket him anymore. Perfect. And it's tough. I did that. So we got that taken care of. Now we're just going to go to the monitor. Teddy. Hold on. Let me see if I could give him this coin so he could run away. I hope I can be of help to you tonight. I've got what you need. Excellent. Give me the purse. You can do as you like with the ring. How much is the purse, huh? Here you are. Good luck. No matter what you plan on doing with those monks. 
Best be on your way now before Manfred finds out that he's been robbed. And what are you gonna do? Get my he's cool. And disappear. He's cool. He's cool. Far away as possible before that old man even knows I'm gone. So I'm not gonna buck him. I should have though. I should have bucked, but it's fine. Sometimes I even know it's a video game and my heart doesn't allow me to do it. <laughs> you feel me? What just happened? Oh, I'm tripping. I think I should have got the noble clothes, right? Let's wash ourselves. Damn, I can't even do it. Water doesn't even look clean. There we go. My reputation is pretty high here, so we're just going to keep it that way. I'm Carl. I'm supposed to enter as a novice. We expected you sooner. Weren't you supposed to come here with your guardian? It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. He... he got drunk last night and wasn't able to come with me today. Such a responsibility. And you share his guilt for abandoning him. Although, of course, inebriation is a sin. Well, we'll see. Can you read and write? Naturally. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then, are you ready to enter the Order of St. Benedict and renounce forever the temptations of this world? I am. That's crazy. I feel like things is about to go to a whole nother level here. Worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monks' robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while, while I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. Good luck to you. Hmm. Is there, is there optional, option? Let me see. Yeah, it is optional. We're gonna put on the monk's outfit. Strange feeling being without all of that. I didn't realize how much I've grown used to it. Hmm, I think I just folded. I might have to come back here. Prepared. It's time for you to take your vows. Do I really have to wear this? You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life. Bro, if I gotta... I really hope I don't lose my good armor, bro. Because I'm not trying to load the game again. I'm tripping. Why don't I just move everything to the horse? We'll see what happens, y'all. We'll see if I gotta redo everything or not, or if I could just go back to the trunk and get my stuff. That man looks suspicious already. Brothers in Christ, we have gathered here today to welcome a new novice into our midst. 
Dear brother, forget your former life and embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of St. Benedict. Opus Dei, obedientia, opprobria, the service of God, obedience, and endurance of all discomfort. These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which on this day shall become your own. Suscipe me, Domine, secundum eloquium tuum, et vivam. Et non confundas me, ab expectatio. What language is this? I'm sure some of y'all will comment down and let me know. I swear, Henry's hilarious, bro. Et, et non confundas me ab expectatione me Accept your new name, brother Gregor, and wear it with honor. Welcome, brother. This is crazy. I feel like things about to get hectic, man. Let's see. Welcome, brother. I am Antonius, a novice like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? It was my choice. For a common lad like me, it's the easiest way to get an education and do something worthwhile with my life. It looks like we're both here for the same reason. I think we'll get along. I gotta see who Pius is. Would you tell me something about yourself? I'm a novice and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books and I want an education. Although I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite unexpected. Gee, I'm not worried about a tour, bro. Actually, this might be Let's important. It might, he might actually help me find do, Pius. Here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Make sure to read it this evening so you know how things work. Right, we can go now. Follow me closely. I'll explain everything as we go. Remember one word, discipline. It's your job to work and pray. You serve the Lord now, not your own bodily needs. I really hope I could find my stuff back. Find a free bed there, which is now yours. No. You know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before dawn every day. Takes a bit of getting used to it. This is the garden. 
place for silent contemplation and meditation. Centuries ago, this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, St. Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night. Yo, these guys are walking slow motion. <laughs> so beware. Definitely will beware. Here are the fratery and scriptorium, together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, you must always listen to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the prior and the cicadas. who punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. I'm getting a tour, but... Um, this, is the this place looks together. dumb confusing. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of St. Benedict. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception. But in any of its precepts, expect a swift punishment. But I've already told you about the circuitous. Hmm. of learning. We don't just read books here. We also copy them. You too will learn how. Yeah. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty. But tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We'll be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. No, I don't think I can tell him about that. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Are there any rifts between the brothers? Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot, it's been like a hornet's nest here. Strange you haven't noticed. Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot Peter is old. When he dies, they'll have to select a new abbot from amongst the brethren. The candidates are John and Nevelas. And if you ask me for my opinion, Nevelas is definitely the right man. Unfortunately, no one cares about my opinion because novices get no say. Hmm. What are the roles of the various monks here? Someone takes care of the library, someone else the guard. The abbot supervises everyone, and in his absence, the prior. But it's the circators you should worry about. They're the brothers who'll make sure we observe the rule. They can be quite strict, so if you want to avoid getting punished, always act righteously and do your duties honestly. Nice. Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially, <laughs> Abbot Peter. And soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. Are there already candidates to be the new abbot? Brothers John and Nevelas. Bro, there's a whole lot of dialogue. We just gotta do what we gotta do in this. I'm not gonna talk about a mission because he might be a snitch for all I know. Um, is this blood? Why is there blood here? Talk to me, brother. I might have to go to bed. And this man gave me a tour, but I completely forgot where the bed is. I'm just gonna follow where it says B. This should be it. Nice. Dang, I have no lock pits. I just realized. I thought I had some. I just realized. I think I could find some night girls over here. There we go. This should be where it is. Wonderful. 
I am completely lost. But guys, in all truth and honesty, I am going to have to end this episode soon. This man gave me a tour and I was not paying attention. That's tough. <laughs> I'm going to have to end this episode soon though just because the video I feel like might be longer than that. Might be longer than I want it to be. And I don't want to drag the episodes too long. I believe this is where the area for the bed is. Look down here. Okay. Trespassing. It is definitely up the stairs. I think we're just going to find the bed then. You just stopped talking. What was that? Very suspicious. Yeah, this is where we sleep. Hmm. So I get to sleep anywhere? There we go. We'll sleep and save. We gotta do this at night time, I feel like. I actually wanna be able to do this though, but then I don't know, the video might get dragged out longer than I want it to be, bro. Obviously for space reasons in my, in my map book when I'm editing, you know. But let's see. Do I gotta sleep longer? Seems like I do. I wonder, should I have asked the guy? Should I have asked them about them? Or told them about the mission? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to end the episode here after we wake up. Um. Because I know once I catch on everything, I might have brand to Sir Radzik. It's going to be a whole nother ball game. And this episode will probably be like, what, two hours long? I probably wouldn't have space to <laughs> upload it for real. But, um. Definitely. Let's see what happens here when I wake up, though. Oh man, already? I'm already about to get discipline. That's tough. Yeah, we're definitely going to um, end the episode here. I do hope you guys enjoyed this. And on the next one, bro, we're going to dive deeper into this, bro. This was dope. And it seems like things about to get real crazy, too. How we're just infiltrating this. So, shoot. <laughs> Why do you, they got me doing daily duties, bro. They got me doing duties, man. Yeah, this is going to take some investigation. I'm excited for this, y'all. But, hey, I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode, like I said. And I love you all. And we're going to see how everything's going to go. Especially with just Elden Ring coming out. Because we're going to dwell into that. For It all depends how the episodes really do. But that DLC, I know it's going to be crazy. So we're going to be dwelling into that for sure. And I'll see how managers would bring the Kingdom Come episodes for y'all. But hey, comment down below what y'all want to see. Comment down below if y'all enjoyed this video and all that good stuff, man. But as always, God bless you all. And you already know how this goes, man. Let's get it. Hey, man, we gone.